hi to Chaco. Okay, let's see who's faster. We're creeping this. Uh, Glove of Haste. It's all right. It seems uh, yellow. Who is yellow? Lolite was a bit faster. Gets a close up attack. He has uh, evasion first, by the way. Here we have uh, no skill picked yet. Slippers of Agility, though. That's so good. Slippers of Agility with the close of Haste. These are better than the close of deck and the Gauntlet. Pretty sure a one on one fight, the Demon Hunter would win for uh, Colorful. Lolite has Shadow Song. Here for uh, Colorful with Shadow Fury. They're both. The brothers, of course, the both are from the Shadow Demon Hunter name. I mean, it's actually the same Demon Hunter. Shadow Fury, Shadow Song. They're both creeping some more. Let's see, they both bought circlets. Is there anything different yet? Anything different? A third Moonwell, third Moonwell. Tech. Players forces are under attack. Tech. If you look at the supplies, 21. But, oh, yeah, 21 against 21. About equal amount of uh, gold and lumber. A fourth move all now. Here is... Oh, wait. Hunter's Hall. Okay, we have a difference here. So, Lolayet built his Hunter's Hall after three moon wells. Well, uh, on the other... Oh, there's the fourth moon well. And there's the shop. Well, at the other side... Colorful first built his fourth moon wheel. Never built his hunter's hole. Doesn't build a shop either. What? It's such a difference. No hunter's hole, no shop yet for Colorful. Is he going for an expansion maybe? Is he going for... What could he be going for? He sold the item he got there, I think. What do we have over here? Illusions. And he got slippers as well. So good, but he's AFK. Okay, no longer AFK. Uh, the demon to here... Scourge Bone Giants, Bears versus Bears is gonna be such an easy game here for Colorful. If he wants to play Bears versus Bears, man, this is... He can close his eyes, he can just attack, move and win. So, what do we have to do here for Lolliot? He has to creep this as well. And uh, if he doesn't get the same item, he has to go ranged. He has to go good of the Talon, because he cannot win Bears versus Bears. Or he has to go base race, Bears versus base race, Bears. Uh, this Demon Hunter, by the way, is uh, almost level 3. They're level 3 against level 3. Two slippers! This Demon Hunter is so much stronger than this other Demon Hunter. He has the two slippers, he has a close of ace, he has a circle and a scourge bone chime. This Demon Hunter just has like some illusions, DP, stuff, some useless items, you know. But he is a bit hurt, Is that so he cannot win the fight just yet. He needs to drink a bit of moon juice, and then he comes back, and then he can uh, start killing that Demon Hunter. Forces are under attack. Okay, drinks it just a little bit doesn't need to drink a lot this archer could uh, use some moon juice as well blocks the demon hunter a bit but Only a little bit just enough to give him a chance So he thinks he can get the archer, but the archer is of course just in time to drink the moon juice Is this the first map? Yes, this is the first map in their second best of three uh, In the losers bracket finals the winner of this will qualify the loser will get or qualify for the not for GCS will qualify for the next round for the playoffs Archer just shoots a few arrows. There, see. Oh, Ancient of War gets attacked in and he gets a kill. That was not a detonate. Didn't look like to, one to me at least. This Archer hiding over here. He's waiting for uh, for Colorful to start creeping this and then. Ta da! Creep check. Oh, but the Archer just walks away at the worst moment. There, it is, this Wisp Dispel detonate. Does he have Ultra Vision? He needs Ultra Vision. Where's Ultra Vision? I don't know if he has Ultra Vision. But the Archer uh, moves in. Uh, he definitely has ultra vision. Uh, did he uh, book out the XP there? Yeah, did go to sh uh, Shadow Fury. The Demon Hunter for... Uh, oh, he drops the Claws of Haste. If you can go back for that later. <laughs> Keeper... Uh, could use the rope of the Magi though. Double Angel of Lore. This, this is so good for Colorful. Colorful is easily peasily winning this game. The Keeper here is a bit late. Angel of Lore is coming up. I feel like this is a 1-0 advantage. A 1-0. Like... The light is 7 supply up. But uh, he has less gold. I mean, he might as well leave the game at this point, no? Does he still have a chance? Do any of you guys still believe in Lord Light? I mean... I know some of you believed in Lord Light last game against PCG. But this game is completely different. It's... Uh, 
Okay, okay, it's there's no tinker, of course. There's no tinker for colorful. Gets a greater mana potion. He's probably gonna sell that the next opportunity he gets. What do we get over here? Maybe a better item. Gives the town portal to the uh, keeper. Just so look even the uh, with the keeper. The demons are still only level three there. Manual of health is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Or try it. Will I better micro? He will win. Even with better micro, I don't think he can win. I can't, we're talking about Scourge Bone Chimes, guys. I don't know how good this item is. Scourge Bone Chimes is so good. Forces are under attack. Let's see what item did he get there. A ring of Protection, that's not very good. Maybe if he gets very lucky with the items, he gets a uh, greater healing potion. It's probably better than the greater mana potion. Or probably, it's a lot better. The uh, content of Ogre Strength, not that great. Demon Hunter is a bit stronger, I feel like. Uh, if you if you don't count that. Well. What can I say here? Scourge Bone Chimes. If we don't look at the Scourge Bone Chimes, we have. Just uh, look at the stats. The Demon Hunter is a bit stronger here for Loliath. Is he? Let's see, 30, 33 agility. This one has 29, but it has the Gloss of Haste, which makes it uh, attack a bit faster, plus 14 damage, this one plus 13 damage. So yeah, I do think the Demon is slightly stronger here for Lolita at the moment, but uh, the Scourge Bone Chimes, if we calculate that in, even the Demon Hunter against Demon Hunter fight, I believe would be won here by Colorful. 37 supply is 48. Okay, why is Colorful so far behind in uh, supply? Did he do something weird again? He's getting bears. He has one bear queued up. So he will go to 41. He's behind in lumber again. Colorful. Did you build a wisp less than the little light? Did the little light get a shredder? The light has so much lumber. Yeah, he did get a shredder. I see. He's getting upgrades. The bears here are one one soon. The bears here are zero zero still. He's not getting upgrades either. I don't know, it does look like Lord Light is ahead somehow. But the Scourge Bone Chimes. The Scourge Bone Chimes, man. Actually the keeper is gonna be level three against level two. Of course, uh, level 3 Keeper just gets an aura level that's one level higher, which is still worse than the Scourge Bone Chimes, but I think you're right. Well, Light has a chance now. I don't know why. I don't know why. Why is... Uh, does he not have the orb yet? Is that why? He has the orb. Why is Colorful suddenly so far behind? Actually... Maybe it's just because he hasn't built the correct units yet. Oh, he built his Shredder. 50 supply against 48. Okay, let's look at the supply now. 50 against 48. No lumber though. And still no upgrades, right? Still no upgrades. So, 0-0 zero, zero against 1-1. One, one. He's getting 2-2 two, two even. And he's not getting upgrades. So Lolight uh, turned his uh, supply advantage into an upgrade advantage. He has a level 4 and level 3 hero. Here we have a level 3 and level 2. So Lolight did somehow get very far ahead. I think he grabbed more, he sold more items. Used that goal for uh, upgrades. I thought it was going to be an easy win for Colorful. But he somehow managed to uh, get behind. Probably the Scourge Bone Chimes can still make up for things. We still have, if uh, if Colorful Micros, well, he still has a chance here. He's finally getting, oh, the Moon will upgrade. His units are still 0 0 against 2 2. 2 2 soon. It's gonna have two two upgrades.
He has level two aura, right? Yeah. So one level higher aura is uh, almost the same as the Scourge Bone Champs. If we add in the level, uh, the Demon Hunter level four as well. Let's say the, the higher level heroes here for Loliath make up the difference of the Scourge Bone Champs. But then we still have the upgrades advantage. We have 2-2 two, two against 0-0. Zero, zero. There's no chance here for uh, Colorful. He's only now getting Ultra Vision. What? So late. Keeper gets ensnared. Gets a rejuvenation. Uh, we have five bears against four bears though. Uh, and well, we have a bear defenders for uh, Colorful. Don't know how he got that. Also, the Shredder could help him fight. So Colorful can easily win this fight, even though with, uh, with he doesn't have the upgrade. Uh, he has the upgrade disadvantage. Should be able to win this fight for now. Uh, this demon of the tank, love damage. He die oh, stops, stops him at the last hit points with like two hit points. Actually, he's got stopped with nine hit points, but he was poisoned. He went down to two. There's a TP out for Loliath. No player lost anything. So we do have five bears against four bears. How is that possible? Is that because he has a lot of wisps? I guess Loliath still has a lot of wisps. One, two, three, four, five. And, and an archer, okay. Five wisps on lumber and an archer. Well, if you look at uh, at the blue player at, at uh, colorful, he has one, two, three, three wisps, no archer. So there's five. No, seven. Seven minus three is four supply difference, which is exactly one bear. So with the bear advantage, even though he has, he was behind in supply, in uh, sorry, even though he was behind in upgrades, was able to defend there. Yeah, I have to go to work. Hope the next fight comes soon. I'm sorry, man. This is Night of Mirror. The next fight is not going to come soon. You're probably gonna miss it if you have to go to work. Oh, Mountain Giants! What? He's going Mountain Giants. What? He's going Mountain Giants in this matchup against bears? No, he just can't. Yes, but he cancelled and then he uh, clicked it again. Yeah, he's he's got mountain giants. Very bad against bears. We saw that just last game, last night of mirror. Mountain giants suck against bears. What can I say? I can't say anything. Maybe if you micro them right, have them behind your bears. Uh, and use the taunt to try to uh, to take some damage from the giants. They're good. Okay, we have expansion by the way here for Loliath. Forces are under attack. Bow. Uh, I guess I can eat a bit. Both under 120 APM. The drives are three and two. Is he getting the third armor upgrade? Yes, he's getting the third armor upgrade. So these drives are gonna be three, three. Over here, we have uh, two more upgrades as well. That means he's going for two, two. And here comes the Zeppelin attack. Okay, we do have an attack soon here. He's gonna drop over here, but we have a two hero defense. And of course, this time the light, he probably saw Remind play. He saw the double orb on both heroes. He was like, of course, that's why I lost to Colorful. I didn't get an orb on both my heroes. By the way, I never updated the uh, overlay. Sorry, uh, let me... There, it's zero, 0 of course, not 2 on 1. Uh, It was of course still in my uh, in my thing because earlier they played against each other and it was two and one. Okay, he stops uh, stops the demon hunter. Okay, he's going for the tree of eternity. The bears, the demon hunter, the keeper. This keeper takes some damage. Can he get the tree of eternity though? No way, right? No, no way. Especially not since he's moved. Oh, keeper went almost down. Eleven hit points. If he lost that keeper and the zeppelin, it would have been, been GG. But instead, doesn't do anything. Just TP's out. This expansion is up though. This doesn't look good anymore here for Colorful. 6 supply against 63. He still has a gold advantage though. He can go to 80 supply and maybe attack and win still. 
It's not like it's looking bad for Call of War either. I mean, did he, uh, he, he canceled the Mountain Giant upgrades. Okay, changed his mind. Maybe he was listening to me. It was like, okay, Chaco is right. Mountain Giants suck against bears. He's going hippos instead. Maybe one hippo and then dudes of the Talon. He's getting the three, third attack upgrade. We have 3-3 three, three here overhead already. Then a hippo. There's a zeppelin. We have Master Dudes of the Talon, by the way, again for Colorful. This is how he won. The second game, I believe, earlier against Low Light as well, with the Master Dudes of Talon. But that game he had Kattegar's side of uh, Kattegar's pipe of insight. This game he doesn't. Players' forces are under attack. He will be one one upgrade behind the Zeppelin, uh, taking a little damage with the Fairy Fire and the Hippo chasing him down. We have a defensive Hippo here with better upgrades and the roar. It's just like this other game. 78 supply against 80, but we have Master Druids of the Talon against Fairy Dragons. No Talons, I don't see a single Talon. Just used Illusions, didn't he? There it is. We have a uh, 4 in level 3 against level 3 and level 2. He has a Skull of protect uh, Protection. He still has the uh, Scourge Bone Chimes to make up for the difference in the hero levels. Yeah, he mana burst the fake demon and tangles it as well. It's so, such a fake, he should dispel it maybe. With the dryads. Because it's taking a lot of damage. But this demon hunter taking a lot of damage for colorful as well. It uh, uses a protection scroll but, and he stops him out. He has to stop, he can get back in. After he, he heals back up, he's level 4. There he comes. It's, uh, we see some cyclones here by the way in the back. And those bears. Oh, the demon hunter didn't even heal that much. He gets rejuvenation over here. Go for the tree of uh, life. No, never mind. Uh, comes back in the fight. These bears are fighting bears. Uh, if we get level three, oh, this keeper is almost level three. Let's gonna shift things back, maybe. Oh, but the demon does it. Ah, this has to be GG. I mean, he does have no TP. Uh, we have the expansion is defended. The demon hunter is dead. It doesn't matter what happens over here anymore. This game is over, uh, as you can see by the way. And supply 37 against 65. GG GG Okay, well, let's see. Do we have a mirror? Do we have a mirror? We have demon on- Oh, no, no, no! Uh, what? <laughs> Both? We saw a game earlier on this map and it was demon hunter against demon hunter. Why do I have a priestess against a priestess in this game? Did they uh, agree beforehand? Like, hey, let's play a priestess mirror. Is that what happened here? Or uh, is it just coincidence that they both just go for priestess? Oh, the frog blocking the priestess! What a beautiful frog block there! And there's Ancient War, there's a Hunter's Hall for uh, Loliath. And double Potoms, they've been watching ACS. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, no skill chosen yet. Oh, there's one shot with a fairy arrow, and he goes for the. True shot, let's see which one is better. Which uh, skill is better? Mira White Man, by the way, against Diana Windwood. Diana, wasn't that like a queen? Queen Diana. Mira White Man, Diana Windwood. Well, uh, we have double Angel of War with the uh, Hunter's Hall here for Colorful. The Lyot has the uh, same thing. Well, Angel War back in the base. Of course, one of the advantages of getting the two shot aura is that you can uh, drink more moon juice. It's cheaper to drink moon juice. But you do less damage, of course. The Searing Arrow adds 10 bonus damage. The two shot only adds 3 bonus damage. So. Do seven less damage, but you can drink moon juice a lot more efficiently. This this warden is just hunting down this warden, not warden, 
This princess, this bottom, is just hunting down this bottom. Oh, do we see another frog block? Please, frog! No. A town is under yes, siege. no, I don't know. She hit that for a second. He finds this, uh, this wisp and tries to kill it. The wisp might detonate. Is it gonna detonate? There's a beautiful detonate. Now we have one wisp advantage here for, uh, for Lyot. You, you see, he's one supply up. Every pot of mirror I see, one goes two shot and one goes searing arrow. Two shots usually works better once hunters come out. Well, we have uh, some hunters. And now we have hunters here on the other side as well for Lolliot. Why is everything a bit late for Lolliot? I thought his bottom was late, his hunters are late. Oh wait, not Lolliot. Colorful. Why is everything late for Colorful? Oh, come on, Jacko. Focus. Why is everything late for Colorful? The spot on his late, his huntresses were late, everything was late. He's building a, another huntress. Oh, and we have a creep. He's creeping. He's even using the lightning shield over here. He should probably move it up. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, or does it still kill him? No, no, the splash damage killed him. The priestess, the mirror, white main. It's almost level 2. And then it uh, doesn't matter too much anymore what skills we got. Tome of Agility is pretty nice. The Priestess is an Agility hero. And this Priestess is also an Agility hero. But she's still level 1. She gets a nice item though. The wards, the Sentry wards. This uh, Priestess got some shitty items. Swing of Protection plus 2 and Gauntlet of Ogre Strength. Two of the worst items in the game there for the bottom. Here comes the Creepjack, but he's missing some Huntresses. He's three, two hunters is, uh, down. There's two hunters is less. One now. One hunters less still than uh, Loliath. As you can see, he's three supply behind. I don't know why. Why? Did he tech or something? He didn't tech. Did he get upgrades already? He didn't get upgrades already. Did he uh, get his priestess around it? He did get his priestess around it. And do we have dust? We don't have dust. Okay, we do have uh, we do have uh, reveal though. He has a wisp in the goblin laboratory. This how uh, oh, he plays the sentry ward. This this hunter takes so much damage. She's dead, and now the priestess is uh, alive, and now it's equal supply. Everything is equal, but oh, there's that reveal. Can he force TP? Yes, he can. There's that force TP, but there goes uh, this as well, and there are hunters for the uh, the other player as well. Player forces are under attack. Uh, he kills the wisp. Maybe he can get another huntress. I mean, he has the gold for it. No, it would put him up around equal supply. There, he, he gets his huntress. Town is under siege. Again, I don't understand why Colorful was behind at that point. Why was he behind the huntress, even though he never lost the huntress? He lost a wisp. Did he rebuild the wisp? Maybe he, uh, that's one thing. Oh, it's a trap! It's a trap, and he knows it's a trap. And now he's trapped! No, he's not trapped. He does have the dust, though. His opponent doesn't have the dust. Oh, he put down the sentry ward so he can see everything that needs to be seen. But now there's no priestess with the army. They don't have the true shot, and they can't fight. 44 supply against 49, but he can't go to 47 by building one more hunter. There it is. He goes to 47. And he's getting a. The wrong upgrade. Great. Well, uh, here for Lolite, he's getting the correct upgrade. He's getting better attack for the Hutchesses. This upgrade inf increases the armor of Twist of the Claw in bear form, Twist of the Talon in storm form, storm claw form. Oh, wait. Uh, Twist of the Talon in storm claw form, Triads, Mountain Giants, Fairy Dragons, Hippogriffs, and Chimeras or Chimeras, but no Hutchesses. I guess he's never played Huntresses before, he doesn't realize uh, which upgrade to get. There, he loses a Huntress. Oh, we have a level 3 Priestess now for Loliat. And he has now the one... one no, wait, what? Loliat had an upgrade, right? Or is he still uh, not done? I guess he's still upgrading. Let me just quickly check. Yeah, he's, he's almost done. And uh, he has a Zeppelin as well. The Zeppelin is looking uh, pretty nice, but actually... Do we, oh, heal scroll there for Colorful. The kill skull just might have uh, done so much. The Zeppelin is not fair. The Zeppelin is not fair, is it? 
Look at that zeppelin, it saves everything. Oh, these hunters! Be careful, hunters. He. Can Colorful still win this game? He kills one hunters. I mean, he's. It's kind of equal supply. He's behind in hero level. He's uh, ahead in unit hit points, but we do have some moonwalls still. Uh, oh, the priestess might have the TP here. That's also, uh, he's behind in TPs, at least uh, Colorful is. Colorful realizes he has to creep in level 3. And you know what else he realizes? Well, he probably didn't realize that he didn't get the wrong upgrade. That he did get the wrong upgrade. A replenishment potion. Oh, this uh, Priestess also uses a replenishment potion, but he picks up the replenishment potion. Heal scroll being used here by Colorful, but he, he's being creep jacked. Heal scroll being used here by uh, Lolliot. Looks like he has more Huntresses, but he also has the Zeppelin. These two Huntresses are very low on hit points. This Huntress goes down, this Huntress goes down, these two Huntresses go not down. And they get Micro, micro out in the back. The, of course, we have uh, Infinite Micro here for Lolliot with the Zeppelin. 44 against 49. Oh, there goes another Huntress. I don't think Colorful can win this. And uh, we have one on Huntresses now against 0 0. I think this upgrade mistake was pretty big. I mean, if you got the correct upgrade, you would have had a better chance. But would he have won? Would he have won? He still would be, be not have won, I think. Against the Zeppelin, he should have gotten his own Zeppelin. And yeah, this has to be GG. These hunters can all be saved with the Zeppelin. Save his... Okay. Maybe he doesn't save them though. He only saved a few. Okay, he put... Oh, the priestess is GG.